Well, my name is Stacy Miller. I'm a genetic counselor. I work with the University of Missouri and Ellis Fischel Cancer Center. Our biggest push right now is what we call self-breast awareness. I think it's important for women to really know what the risk is. Now the average woman walking the street that we don't know anything about at all has roughly a 12 to 13 percent chance of getting breast cancer by the time she's age 90. Breast cancer, like a lot of other cancers, it's a disease partially of aging. The older you get, the higher your risk is. The risk of breast cancer starts going up between ages 40 and 50. It starts slowly rising and it continues to rise. who in the family actually has been affected by breast cancer, what ages were they diagnosed at. We look for three or more breast cancers in one bloodline. We look for male breast cancer, ovarian, pancreatic, aggressive prostate cancers. There's actually probably between you know, 12 to 16 different hereditary breast cancer genes that are out there. Our overall exposure to estrogen can slightly increase or decrease our risk for getting breast cancer, meaning when we have our first period, when we have our first child, when we go through menopause, how many children have we had, did we breastfeed, did we take birth control, fertility drugs, hormone replacement therapy, all those things can play a role in our risk for breast cancer. Pregnancy is actually protective. What we do know is that if a woman never gave birth to a child, it does increase her breast cancer risk a little bit. I think the biggest ones that they are surprised about when it comes to breast cancer risk are alcohol and obesity. We have found that if you drink one alcoholic beverage on average per day, it could increase the risk for breast cancer by as much as 11%. And obesity puts you at a risk for multiple different types of cancers, but it definitely has a big impact on breast cancer because one of the biggest sources of estrogen in our body, other than our ovaries, is our fat cells. In addition to their family history, what are some of the things they need to be looking out for as in regards to any red flags in their breast tissue that would indicate a need for further medical evaluation, such as a rash that doesn't go away or color discoloration in the nipple or nipple drainage, things that we don't think of outside of just looking for lumps or bumps in the breast tissue. 